Armstrong High School has something to brag about. The Washington Post says it is one of the most challenging high schools in the nation. But that's just the tip of the iceberg. Reporter Shannon Slatten shares more about Armstrong High School in today's School Spotlight. At Armstrong High School is something for everyone. The 2,000 students who attend Armstrong High School in Plymouth are tackling challenges head on. Since I've been here, we've seen a change in the demographics of the building, which reflects the demographics of the community. Principal David Dahl has been in administration at Armstrong for more than 20 years. In that time, he's seen the population shift to become more diverse. And at the same time, the number of students taking rigorous advanced placement classes increase dramatically. Last year we gave about 1400 AP tests and uh, we're getting really close to having the, the demographics of the students that take those AP tests reflect the demographics of the building. Advanced placement is a program that's run by the College Board which allows high school students to earn college credits and to take rigorous classes as high school students. Students have access to a growing number of advanced placement classes and they can earn college credit starting as early as ninth grade. Our goal is to have the kids take something challenging before they leave Armstrong um, and we've had great success with kids feeling like they can move from the regular to the AP um, without being a huge leap in, in, in ability level. You add more dollars in, prices go up. What is that trend called? inflation. This is an example of an advanced placement U.S. history class. So if you guys could help me out. Where the focus isn't on dates and names, but rather on concepts and analyzing how themes apply to the world today. AP classes in general are intended to give a, a college level understanding of the subject matter that is being studied. Um, and so it's the same content that they're getting in a regular class with more rigor connected to it, obviously to achieve college standards. Armstrong students are challenged in extracurricular activities too, with more than 40% being involved in some sort of sport, club, or program. We pretty much have something for everybody, and if we, we don't have it, we find a way to find it. Many programs, like theater for example, encourage students to develop important communication and team building skills. Being a part of a production, they also get to become really close to other students, and I think in this day and age where kids go out to dinner together and sit on their phones and communicate with each other through digital ways, this is a face-to-face -face communication that's helping them explore their emotions and learning how to communicate that. Teachers, parents, and students promote an idea called Falcon Pride, and you'll see it around school. It's an idea that this is a place to belong and achieve together. Armstrong uh, does cater not just to the higher-end academic type students, but to all students, and we have something for everyone, and I do believe that the vast majority of students really enjoy attending Armstrong High School. In Plymouth, Shannon Slatton, CCX News.